Mr. President, I've come to the floor today to join, be joined soon by my colleague and uh, co-chair of the Senate Law Enforcement Caucus, Senator Coons, to honor the men and women uh, that work for us every day, that help protect us every day uh, during police week. This is an annual event. It brings law enforcement officers to Washington from around the country and, of course, including uh, my state of Missouri. Now, as it turns out, Police Week is really a bad week uh, to rob a store in Washington. Um, the town full of uh, policemen, and just last week, several uh, would-be robbers came out of a robbery and almost ran into a group of St. Louis area policemen and a New Jersey policeman. Uh, they immediately chased down and arrested uh, the perpetrators of that crime. Uh, so you know, criminals are often not very smart, but you have to be particularly not smart to decide you're going to rob a store in Washington during police week. Uh, and uh, thank goodness our, those who serve us, uh, those who uh, wear blue and work to service and protect us every day, even do that when they're off duty and hundreds of miles away from home. So congratulations to those officers for what they did while they're here, and nobody's very surprised by that. Really, when uh, Senator Coons and I came to the Senate uh, a little over eight years ago, we started trying to find a law enforcement caucus to join and find out there wasn't one. And so Senator Coons said to me, let's just start one, uh, and we did. And this is the week we get a chance every year to talk about specifically what happens this week. We look for opportunities through the year to, one, honor the people who work here protecting us every day, and two, to talk about things happening in the country that affect uh, people who protect us and uh, protect uh, police and sheriff's departments. Uh, this is a time of year, frankly, when uh, that, that tragic loss to family is so evident as we add people uh, to the, the police memorial. Four Missourians are going to be, were added to that list this year. Uh, Deputy Sheriff Aaron Paul Roberts of the Greene County Sheriff's Office, the county I live in, died when his patrol car was swept into the Palm de Terre River after he responded to a 911 call. Uh, Deputy Roberts had served with the Sheriff's Office for a year, but he'd previously been in the Willard Police Department for four years. He's survived by his wife, by his daughter, by his parents. In April of 2018, Miller County Deputy Sheriff Casey Shoemate was killed when his vehicle collided with an oncoming vehicle while responding to a structure fire. He'd served in that department for about a year as well, but he'd previously worked in two other Missouri uh, police departments, and he's survived by his two children, his fiance, his parents, and his siblings. In March of 2018, Clinton Police Department officer uh, Chris Morton was shot and killed when he and two other officers responded to a 911 call. As Officer Martin and his colleagues arrived at the scene, a man began shooting at him. The officers returned fire. They entered the building. A subject continued firing. He fatally wounded Officer Morton and injured two of Officer Morton's colleagues that uh, I had a chance to visit with at that department not long after this incident. Uh, he'd been, uh, Officer Morton had been at the Clinton Police Department for three years. Uh, prior to doing that, he'd served in the, um, the U.S. Uh, uh, military through the Missouri Army National Guard. He'd been deployed to Kosovo. He'd been deployed to Afghanistan. Uh, his parents and siblings, I know, worried about him there, uh, but wouldn't have, in their wildest imagination, wish, thought that he would be killed at home, in, near his hometown, uh, in reacting to a call, a 911 call from a house. In March of last year, FBI Special Agent Melissa Morrow of Kansas City died from a brain cancer that she'd developed following the 9-11 terrorist attack on the Pentagon. She'd been design, assigned to evident, the evidence response team of the FBI of Washington field office, had spent 10 weeks covering uh, recovery uh, weeks after that uh, event and processing evidence uh, from the site in hazardous conditions. 
uh, and um, Melissa is survived by her parents, her sister, uh, a niece, and a nephew. The names of these fallen men and women were added to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial here in Washington and to the Ms. Wall of Honor at the Missouri Law Enforcement Memorial uh, over the last months. They'll be remembered by people who uh, benefited from and remember their bravery, their dedication, and their sacrifice. This is a time when we honor those who serve us and particularly lives who have been lost, but it's also a time we ought to think about the things we can do to uh, serve them in a better way, to be sure that they have the equipment they need, the resources they need, the training they need. I mentioned at an event uh, earlier today that uh, for the last 50 years, uh, law enforcement and the emergency room has also been, unfortunately, for everybody involved, the de facto mental health delivery system in the country. Officers now take that crisis intervention training uh, to be sure that they're really prepared when they're dealing with someone whose intent is not criminal, uh, but uh, their activities are impacted by their mental health issues and what to do in, in that situation so that everybody is better served. Uh, we've worked hard to see that the regional information sharing system in our state headquartered in Springfield is properly funded. The high intensity drug trafficking areas, the center for our region there is Kansas City, are things that Senator Coons and I have worked together on to do our best to fund. Uh, and uh, for two different times now, we've worked together to extend the Victims of Child Abuse uh, program. Uh, last year, we again introduced the bill. At the, I think the previous uh, extension had been a five-year extension. We came to the end of that. This is the program where at 23 centers in Missouri, uh, people understand how to get the forensic information, the uh, testimony they need from kids who have either been the victims of crime or witnesses of crimes. Every law enforcement person I've talked to, Senator Coons, every uh, prosecutor I've talked to, uh, believes that uh, what happens at these victims of child abuse centers can't be replaced anywhere else. Uh, and now we're working together on the National Law Enforcement Museum Commemorative Coin Act, a uh, bill that the Congress passed last year, and the House passed last year, I'm sorry, the Senate passed last year with our efforts. The House didn't get to it. We want to do that again. Uh, the Law Enforcement Museum uh, in Washington would be the beneficiary of the proceeds from that coin after the cost of the coin is paid. Uh, we're going to be working together uh, on that. Uh, I've worked, we've worked with other colleagues. I work with Senator Pat Roberts from uh, Kansas on the Kelsey, Kelsey Smith Act. Uh, it's named after Kelsey Smith who wasn't found, 18-year-old Kelsey Smith who was abducted and murdered in 2007. This bill strengthens the ability of law enforcement to get the information they need, uh, the quick access to someone's cell phone that gives you an, a, the information of where they might still be or where they last were when they separated from that phone, if that's what had happened. Uh, Senator Stabenow and I are continuing to work on the Mental Health and Addiction Treatment Act, something that uh, every time we have support testimony on that act. It always involves law enforcement who want more focus on mental health court, more focus on uh, drug court, but particularly more focus on the ability of officers to deal with the situation in the best possible way when they come upon that situation. So remembering those who have fallen, continuing to work for those who stand up for us and run to the side, side of danger uh, as they shield us from danger, is an important thing, and I'm glad to be joined today by my good friend Senator Coons from Delaware.